We tend to forget that HIV and AIDS is a 100% preventable disease. The alarming rate of new infections with women and girls is something we have to pay a lot of attention to. Of course, we're concerned about everybody uh, with HIV, and we know that probably over one million uh, Americans are infected. And we also know that um, perhaps maybe 56,000 or more come on new each year infected with HIV. But this idea that the young people uh, seem to be that population which increasingly is most impacted uh, by these new infections. We need to find a way to talk uh, with young people. We need to make sure that they're included in the discussion, that they're included in the debate, and have more programs that's targeted toward them. The empowerment of women is so important as it relates to health care, as it relates to education, as it relates to economic development and opportunities. We have to make sure that women have equal opportunities and equal access to uh, the American dream. So that we can have the kind of self-esteem that um, allows us to be empowered and, and, and to empower others. This Special Awareness uh, for Women and Girls Day gives us an opportunity to target more effectively. I'm very pleased that President Obama lived up to his commitment, which he made during the campaign, to come forward and develop a national AIDS strategy. I'm very excited about this. It's very important to recognize that, uh, especially women of color and young girls, uh, there's a disproportionate impact in terms of HIV and AIDS. And so part of this plan has to include uh, looking at how to address prevention, care, and treatment of women and girls, uh, especially women of color and, and girls of color. To develop, you know, a message and a way by which to approach uh, dealing with this uh, horrific problem. And so we see a focus on making sure that the attention and the funding and the programs go to the hardest hit communities. And who's harder hit than African Americans. The Affordable uh, Care Act is so important for women and girls because before this, uh, women uh, had been considered, uh, or being a woman, had been considered a pre-existing condition. Uh, and oftentimes, women uh, were not afforded access to uh, medical care uh, for the type of, uh, same, for the same rates in terms of their insurance coverage and their premiums as men. And so this, this law now is beginning to equalize health care for women and girls. It means that people who have not been able to afford health care, whole families, some people who have gone all of their lives without health care now have the opportunity uh, to get comprehensive health care. Being a victim of domestic violence uh, before the law passed and uh, became the law of the land uh, was a pre-existing condition, uh, having been a victim of domestic violence. That's outrageous. And so now that's done. That's over. And so I think women and girls have a lot to uh, be thankful for, but also a lot uh, to work for. For young girls and women who get a chance to have physical examinations, they can learn about communicable diseases, they can learn about their bodies, uh, they can have the kind of attention that would help them to understand how to better take care of themselves. And certainly, if uh, by chance they are infected, this helps them to have that identified very early so that they can begin to get care and treatment. So this is extremely important. It's also very important that we get rid of this abstinence-only policy. Uh, Abstinence-only, fine. Uh, however, we have to have comprehensive sex education for our young people. Young people, young girls need to learn about the birds and the bees early so they can prevent unwanted pregnancies and the, the uh, STIs and STDs and HIV and AIDS. We've moved away from just talking about disease to really looking at the broader picture of social determinants of health and recognizing how important that is to support the possibility of even achieving wellness for our communities. I think the assault on Planned Parenthood is uh, an assault on, on women. It's a, an assault on women's health. And I know many young girls believe the right to choose, the right to privacy, to the right to an abortion always was. Well, I remember the days of back alley abortions. And I hope that women of color and girls 
really get very involved in the political process and say that we are going to not allow them to take away our uh, rights. And some of us who have focused on women's issues for many years will continue to do that and we're going to have to engage some of the younger women in this struggle and in this fight also. As long as you're sexually active, AIDS is a possibility for all of us.